So we've had a look at the treatment. Now it's all about any other information that we can get before we start to really get into the meat and potatoes of pre-production, right? That location scout, the tech scout, picking the crew, uh, all of that sort of stuff. We need to get as much information as we can so that we can already start to work in our minds what the style is going to be, what the look is going to be, anything that we can do and, and anything that we can front load in the process. Because as you get closer and closer to the shoot, things get more and more hectic. You're bringing on more people. There's more questions that need to be answered. There's usually less time with the director because as more people come Come on, uh, they start to suck away that time that a director has on a job to talk with cinematography. So the earlier you get in there and you can get those questions asked and answered and bring things up that you you might have red flags that you want to that you want to bring up and just say, okay, are we checking this? Are we doing this? The the quicker that you can get that done, the better it's going to be. So an important part of that is the agency storyboards, right? Because this is what Andre has seen in the lead up, probably prior to making the treatment, to say, okay, what is important to them? What do I have to get across in this ad? What is the feeling? And it's almost like you're deciphering uh, the key elements, because agency boards are usually so loose in description, they're very, very general. So what are the main points that they're trying to get across? What are the main shots like? Is this a must have? Those are really the things that you can take away from here. Other than that, the agency boards, not that useful. It's not like you're going to stick to them all the way through, because as soon as the job is handed over to Andre, well, now it's his decision about where to take this thing. So these, these boards, generally, you look at them once and then you never look at them again. So for our purposes, let's jump in and take a look at the agency boards that come along. Uh, and again, these normally, you'll get the treatment and you'll get these at the exact same time, probably before you even talk to the director. So you see our client here is Neg Insurance. The product is a roadside assist uh, and it's answer the call. And you see the length and the agency and things like that. Like length, you, you have to be aware, okay, well, how long is this ad going to be? Because then, again, you're, you're looking for information that will help you determine the size of the sandbox. Because as soon as you know what you're going to be able to spend or the kind of budget that you're going to have, that will dictate camera, lenses, crew, equipment, time on set, schedule. All of those things will play a factor in the end look. So you have to know that stuff before you can start to reverse engineer what the look is going to be, right? Because the... The sandbox is built for you. Inside of that sandbox, you just build a castle. That's all you're trying to do. Okay, so we'll start shot number one. Exterior, day, roadside, woman stands beside broken down vehicle. Okay, lady all by herself on the side of the road. Nice big wide shot. Uh, old gentleman, older gentleman talks to a woman about problem. Okay, just an over the shoulder shot. This is fairly easy. Cut away to show flat tire. Okay, we know the problem now. There's a flat tire. Uh, conversation between a woman and older gentleman. Sometimes, it, depending on the stage that the script is in while this stuff is happening in pre-production, sometimes this will be accompanied by a script. The script, unless there's something crazy, if there are agency boards, I'll generally go to those first. The script, because there are so many changes throughout commercials, I've found that if you, you know, you might look and glance at it just to get an idea of what's happening in the ad, but it's going to change so many times the VO and looking for specific words that probably best just to just to go off of the boards and be a little bit looser and more general in what you're after. So here again, I mean, just really matching overs here. Uh, then a close up of the older guy, right? Close ups usually means he's got something important to say or there's an important emotional moment that they want to get across here. Back to the tire. And now we are in the car, right? So again, that's a clue. Why is the pen so big? The clue is, okay, so they want to be in the car. Uh, up until this point, it's all been fairly easy, right? Day, exterior, wide shots going to be easy, over the shoulder, little inserts. I'm already starting to think in my head for scheduling. This is good because I know I can shoot shots like this, this size, at not the ideal time of day. I can shoot this whenever. So already there's schedule uh, worries are being alleviated by looking at the kind of coverage that they are after. Now, this one is our first big wait a second, this is going to complicate things. Because it says, woman starts the engine and begins to drive away with man in the background, right? So old fella back there, he is just standing there and the car drives off. Well, this requires a few different things. Questions already being asked is, are we, we're inside the car looking out that way and able to see that much of the window, which means the camera is going to be, have to be on the dash. And now we're going to need a car with the right windshield. So I'm going to be looking for cars with a flat windshield. I'll have to talk to the production designer, uh, art department, to make sure that that is actually the case. I'm going to have to get the camera as small as possible, which means we're going to have to get a lens, which is going to be able to get us in this world. How important is this shot? Uh, those are the questions that when I speak to Andre, this is what I'll be looking for. Like, what do you think of that car driving off shot? Is that completely on? Is that off? 
And 99% of the questions or the red flags that you bring up when looking at the treatment or when looking at agency storyboards, they, they will never come to fruition. This stuff will just get thrown out, right? Like this is the agency's idea. This is not Andre's idea. So the chances of us doing this shot, very, very small. But it's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Like, okay, I need, I need these questions answered. And you don't have to immediately come up with a document and, you know, some giant, enormous... 10,000-word uh, email that you send off immediately to Andre. Uh, you don't want to do that. You want to wait for the opportune time to bring up these issues. You want to see how the cards are going to play out before you show what it is you're concerned about, right? Because you don't want to add excess problems. You want to be uh, take, shouldering the load. You want to be taking stuff off of Andre's plate, off of the production's plate. They come to you for the expertise. You're there to provide it. You're not there to add on to the problems. You're there to take them away. So I'd be thinking, okay, car rig, that's going to slow us down. Uh, it's going to be tricky with the lighting, balancing inside and outside. I'm going to have to remember that for the schedule. So lots and lots of things happen just from frame seven, right? Lots of questions come up. Okay, then we are outside of the car as man watches woman drive away. That's shot eight. Shot nine, woman drives away as camera tracks with the vehicle. So this is, again, often something that you will see in agency storyboards. It sort of jumps around, right? This is not... Uh, you know, we're not doing Steven Spielberg style coverage here. We're all over the place. We've got two of the same shot here, right? This is probably just laziness. They don't want to go out and get another board done for the second shot. Um, and then we're on this side of the line. Then we're outside of the car. Then we're outside of the car on that side of the line. The pen is gigantic again. This is, you know, we're jumping all over the place. And what is that? One, this is the last shot, right? Right before the super appears on screen, all the graphics. Wide shot as vehicle pulls away and super enters screen. So in a 30 second ad, which we saw, that's what it is, we have shot seven, one, two, three, four. We have four shots of the lady pulling away, which you have to imagine that the punchline is before she pulls away or maybe in the process of her pulling away. So that's four out of 10 shots are the resolution of the ad. That's probably not gonna stay, right? This is, somebody really hasn't thought through the coverage. So this is just something to think about as you're starting to build the, your, the ad in your own head. It's like, are we really going to spend that much time on this? Probably not. So there's going to be other solutions that will come up like this, jumping to the other side of the line from this shot to this shot and being outside the window. So this complicates things even more. It's too wide to go with a hostess tray. So we would have to do, you know, it'd have to be a low loader camera over here. Lighting's going to be come from a completely different direction than this shot when it's coming from that direction. Now it's coming from this shot. Like things are, it's getting a little bit squirrely here at the back end. What we do know is that it's really basic. It's, there's no crazy action that comes in. There's no, uh, we must get this shot. There's no helicopter or drone shots or anything like that. It's very contained and contained on exterior day is good. Uh, what's hard on exterior day is it looks like all of this takes place at the same time of day, which means that is going to be the difficult part for us. We need, we're going to have to find a location that will allow us to have light from a similar direction all day, or at least an angle that we can fake like the sun is in the same spot all day, because it doesn't look like a huge passage of time here. It's not a montage ad, right? There's back and forth, there's dialogue between these two, and then they drive off and it looks like it's happening in real time. So that's where the challenges are going to be in this spot. How do we maintain uh, over the course of however many shoot days that we have to get this done? How do we maintain the consistency of the lighting in day exterior? It's one of the hardest challenges for cinematographers. Uh, we're definitely going to show you some tricks and some tips along the way in this course about just how to do that, how to choose the right location, which is going to be paramount to success. And then the schedule is going to be absolutely key. The conversation with Andre, the conversation with the director, making sure that you are on the same page beforehand with the style so that there's no trip ups, right? If we've only got one day to shoot this, which this looks like a one day job. If you've only got one day to shoot something, uh, you don't wanna be wasting time on set with, oh, I thought when you said wide shot, I thought you meant really wide, or I thought you meant drone, or I thought you meant uh, closer than this. You don't want any of those situations coming up. So really now it's focusing on, we take this information that we have from the boards, from the treatment, and we go forward to talk with the producer, talk with the director, the production company to try and understand, okay, how big in scope are we going to do this? What are the expectations that the client have? What is the expectation that Andre has? I mean, you can get some of this by looking at the past production work done by the company 
and the director to sort of get an idea of budget level. But you'll quickly realize in our conversations as we develop this sandbox idea, just where the expectations are going to be, just what level we are going to look at. So we've taken a look at the treatment. We've taken a look at the agency boards. It's now time to have that discussion and start to build the sandbox.